thlarao in a khat mi in chungkul khar ti salai e kan thei chio ban tuk in in chungkul khar he volei chung kan hlot lin na ka sisa thlarao le zong kar kan thlan na ka a be pi bik mi si e a chu sa chon in chungkul khar kong thlarao in a khat mi in chungkul khar tin tang ka vantar le chute chu tu zani beru na vangi in hau si lo a Alain kan nule patsa a pathian bian se se kan fale hi hi ka thang mi pol he zei ti khinda kan thi shroi kar kan thlan pin halai ti zong tampi chim kho ka vani zom lai e he atak in na nak tuah nak lai boy crimin som kan du na a zang fa nak ten kan hule van ka zu ta man ulo thong tha kan ngei lio nak in kan di la ken thong tha kan ngei lio nak in Thong cha kan ngay nui kan thua mi abe pi dao. Apoy tuk mi cho a ka cha ha cha cha. Apoy tuk mi cho zi da si di siya chun thong cha hi kan ngay na ba ten in ka kan vent suak li chang ka bak in kan pil chun mi hi apoy tu tak mi cho se. James kan van real tika hen pathian bia hi nge sa so nak in hen zei ban tuk thon nak mole mu ko selawe pathian bia hi rak twa ba ke hao le chu kan twa lo ruang a hen chu pathian bia ni a chua pi mi a kan pek mi ta chua nak ke kan nak chaw lo a tua hen nu le pa zan khat nak kha chom me rang hol do ka chim cha khan a zan hi nak ni zan e pathian bia ka chim mi lai hol in zei mazat ka chim mi kha Zeta asi tia in hal na ning lo zakat a som li shong ni chen nan te ti men la lao tia karwa. Te ka ka nan te lo mi nan pil chot mi nan ruat sa sai lo mi. Zo a zi te kenda nan van inun pi ko lai. Zo yin nan hei inun pi lo ding mi pa tian bia ngay zo. San te nak a ngay mo ngay lo ti mi ka. Nan te chia mi a thar in boi pa ni nan nun na karin tron tram se lo. Tu sun tu zan kan cium dengan mihat tak kena nak tua nak dai boy crimin som kan tu na. Hey listen guys, let me tell you guys what pleases the devil. Okay, when unbelievers they commit horrible sins. Yes, the devil is pleased, but there's something else that just makes him go crazy, wild, joyful. There's something else that makes him just party with other demons, and that is this. It's not when an unbeliever sin, but when a believer hears the word, but choose not to apply it, to do it in their everyday lives. That is what pleases the devil. So now, let me ask you this. If the devil is pleased whenever we hear the word of God, but we don't do it, how happy do you think you're making the devil at times? Very happy. And is that something that we should be proud of? No, it's not, right? Uh, I will do it. I'm going to do it. Man, that's an excuse coming straight from the pit of hell. Listen to me, guys. The Bible wants us to do the word of God now. So repeat after me. What I do during the sermon sorry what i do after the sermon is more important than what i do during the sermon you guys get this that means you got to go apply it in your everyday life so uh, weekly since i don't get to listen to lots of preachings in person because i'm usually the one preaching uh, I would listen to one, two, uh, at most three sermons a week on YouTube. And there would be maybe three things that, you know, I really got to apply. There are three things in that sermon that really hit me, that showed me my flaws. Now, I'm praying over that. All right, just because I'm praying over that doesn't mean I'm able to do it right away. But that's a start, right? So, when I say apply it in your everyday lives, I'm not, I'm not expecting you guys to be praying two hours a day right when you get home but maybe let's start two minutes let's start three minutes all right repeat after me there are no shortcuts in the christian walk all right no shortcuts all right there are no shortcuts you cannot cheat the christian walk you cannot cheat it what do i mean 
Uh, I think I shared this with uh, older kids, but let me share with you guys, all right? There's this one guy in Illinois who really looked up to me. I was one of his idols, right? And he just had a man crush on me. All right, anyway, so in a good way, in a good way. Um, so what he did was he copied everything about me. The way I dress, uh, when I preach my hand gestures, right? He usually used these kind of mics, but he saw me use holding a mic like this. Every time he preaches, he holds a mic. He saw me on YouTube playing keyboard. He started playing keyboard. Then I moved to the bass. He started moving to the bass. And so the, the pastor came up to me. Hey, Sia Silo, we have this one guy who really look, looks up to you and all. And this is what he's doing. Can you, give, can you give him a talk? And I'm like, okay. I went and gave him a talk. I'm like, hey, bro, uh, your pastor told me this and that. Um, can you tell me what's going on? And he said, yes, yes, hello. At a very young age, God is using you. And I want God to use me at a very young age just like you. So what I did was I copied everything about you. And I asked him, is that working? He said, oh, I don't know. I don't think it's working. I'm actually annoying the congregation. Right, why? Because, look, he was copying and imitating what I do on the pulpit. But what he forgot to copy and imitate was what I do behind the curtains, right? So in order for this light to shine, there are many cables in the background making it shine. All right, what am I trying to say? Guys, I did not get up here on the pulpit just like this. It took me years of prayers, years of hardship, right? I've got so many bruises from my walk with the Lord. So many heartbreaks, so many tears. So there are no shortcuts. So don't expect for you to go from one all the way to seven. But what, what, however, we should be expecting and we should make sure that we're going from one to at least two, two to three, three to four. All right, these words, we must really apply it in our everyday lives. For example, I just hate it when you guys joke around. What do I mean by joking around? When we preach, right? The things that we say, like for example, if me, Sia David, Sia Levi, Sia Jerome, we say, hey, don't curse. Right? And someone accidentally curse and you guys joke about that. Oh, I'm going to tell Sia Silo on you. And you make it light. That's not good. That means you're taking our words very lightly. You shouldn't. These are the word of God. So now if you, are, if you caught yourself doing things that we told you that the word of God is telling you not to do, right? That it's working in your heart. Just like, oh, whoops, my bad, God. I'm sorry, help me not do it again. You guys got that? Because why? When the Holy Spirit works in your heart, I repeat after me, the Holy Spirit is light. All right, and what is light opposite of? The dark. You know what light hates? Darkness. So now when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, even one ounce of darkness in your heart or in your life, it should make you feel something in your life. It should make you feel wrong. It should make you feel sad, guilty because of the sin that you committed. Right, let me show you guys an example. So one time, uh, I think it was in Canada, I was preaching and the Holy Spirit was just working. And I was preaching about just, you know, how the love of God, once you have received this radical love of God, it changes you. It changes your mindset. It changes your heart. It changes the way you walk, where you walk, the way you dress, how you talk, and all these things. And when I was preaching, 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 this one kid, the Holy Spirit was just entering in his heart, just changing his heart just then. And he started crying, sobbing, crying out, ah! just started screaming. And I was scared. I thought he was like possessed or something. I'm like, hey, buddy, what's, what's wrong? He says, yes, I, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, okay. The way he was crying, you know, it seemed like he committed a horrible crime, like he murdered someone. Maybe he smacked someone in the face like Will Smith. Whatever it is. Um, I talked with him, and I'm like, hey, buddy, what's wrong? And this is what he said. It might seem funny, but this is how the Holy Spirit works. He says, yes, I, I'm a horrible person. And I said, what you do? He said, yesterday, before camp, I cheated on a test. All right. Is that so bad that you should be crying out loud that, it should be crying out that loud? 
No, it's not that horrible. But when the Holy Spirit works in your life, when there's light in your life, and you see even an ounce of darkness, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You guys got that? So now there are no shortcuts, but please, during this camp, I hope this is at least helping you take one step further into the Christian faith. One step further to be more and more like Christ. All right, write this down. The old, and repeat after me. The ultimate goal for, the Christian, for, for Christian life is to be more and more like Christ. Zoom to Nunaka, a muy thin me to say that I see this year's own. Nifa the increase lot chin chin here say. Let lot chin 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 timmy befunk the hit abbe pituk nazo. Tling the in the sucre lot ho as a lovely tonga. Sun par nak boom men can tort tie a silo more. Paradise up can it didn't can cheat no longer. Creep with some gun low, a tin tin gun low, like swell knock me low, me get some like. Two sats of zoom to nun naka, ni fat and carlan nun as he two can carlan coat knock the nuts on, to a sort creep fuck and see her. Got to a tail, Timmy, hey, ang up, low missy. Some fun at the naked lane or like her, can you look and fun have an itch him to a lot. See a silo at him here. All right, I just told your parents to tell each other, hey, don't ever say I will do it, right? Say I'm going to do it when? Right now. So now what I want you guys to do, right, before I even get into my sermon, what I want you guys to do is take a minute, uh, go over the things that you have learned from me, from Sia Levi, from Sia Tsungro, even from Sia David or the worship, all the things that we have done, and maybe two or three that stands out, all right? Two or three that stands out. Uh, think over that, and what I want us to do is all close our eyes, close your eyes. Uh, hopefully, you guys remember the things that stood out during the, our teachings. All right, now what I want you guys to do is just say, Lord, just help me lift this out. And say that particular thing that really touched your heart, all right? What is it that you must live out? Um, first night, I talked about trusting in the Lord, right? Putting your faith in Christ. Uh, today, I talked about your identity. Now, you got to live out your identity. If you're forgiven by God, then you got to forgive others. If you're loved by God, you got to love God and you got to love others. Uh, and all these things. So, so, I'll close your eyes and just... Just one or two sentences. Just say, Lord, help me live out. Blink, blink, blink. Whatever you guys think. All right, amen. Uh, that's what we need, all right? That's what we need. We need Christians who are not just hearers of the words, but are doers. Right? Like the Nike slogan, you got to just, what? Just do it. Just do it. Just like how, you know, I beat the eighth graders in basketball today, right? Just do it. All these things. All right. Okay, now let's talk about family. Uh, I want to talk about family because I really want your household to be a healthy, a Christ-centered, a God-fearing household. And in order for that to be... In order for you guys to have a happy, joyful, loving, God-fearing family, uh, you as children also have a responsibility. And that's a responsibility toward God, a responsibility toward your parents, and a responsibility toward your, your siblings. All right, we're going to be honest. Raise your hand if you have a hard time getting along with your sibling. Okay, that's most of you. Uh, see David too? Oh man. All right, so let's look at this right here. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, all the way to chapter 6, verse 4. All right, let me just teach you guys about 
what Ephesians is all about, okay? So in Ephesians, you guys know who wrote Ephesians? Paul, all right. So Paul wrote Ephesians, and there are six chapters. In the first three chapters are basically what God did for us in Christ to show how much we're worth. All right, how much are we worth? You guys remember, how much are we worth? There's a price. The life of? The life of Jesus Christ. All right, tell each other, you are expensive. All right, you guys are expensive. Okay, we're bought with the life of Christ. So now, things that are worthy, do we, do we see their worth? Yes, right? Things that are worthy, like for example, uh, a Yeezy that is real versus a Yeezy that is fake. That is worthless. We can see the difference. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6, now Paul is telling us, God is telling us through Paul, since now you know your worth. You have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. You have been forgiven by the redemption of Christ. You have been blessed. All the spiritual blessings has been bestowed upon you. In chapter 4 of chapter 6, it's saying now you got to walk that out. You got to show other people how much you are worth. It's kind of like this. You got a new jacket, and that jacket is really nice. And someone asks you, hey, where did you get that jacket? And you tell them, I got it from that place. And now you got to put on the Christian jacket, you can say, but something that you can't take off, though, right? Through your love, uh, through your humility. Through your endurance, through your patience, through your forgiveness, through your obedience, through your self-control, through your joy in the midst of trial. Other people must see your worth and they're going to ask you, hey, hey, where did you get that? And then you're going to say, I got it from the heavenly store. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. You just got to believe in who? Believe in Jesus Christ. And once you have given your life to Christ, God can move your life this way. All right, let me share with you guys a story. Uh, in Dallas, I did a crusade, and this one family, they, they, they had a neighbor, and their, their neighbor were Vietnamese. Uh, Vietnamese, they're mostly atheists, right? Um, and they were atheists. And what happened was um, the dad got fired from the job, and they could no longer pay the bill. They had no other family to go to. And their daughters, they were close friends. So what that Chin family decided through prayer was this. However long it takes, we're going to invite that Vietnamese family into our home. We're going to take care of them. We're going to provide food for them, provide shelter for them. And then once they get back up on their feet, then we'll let them go. They came in. They stayed there for a year and a half. And those Vietnamese family, they're like, wow, we see God through your life. They asked them, hey, how can you love someone who you don't even know? Why are you guys sharing half of your paycheck to provide and to provide for food for a family that's not even re related to you? And they showed them, this is what God commanded us to do. To love my neighbors as I love my Myself. So now they are seeing, those Vietnamese family were, are seeing how much they're worth through their love, through their giving. And now they want that. They want that kind of joy. They want that kind of love. So now they ask them, hey, where did you get that? And they said, we got it from the heavenly store. That's from the heavenly store. And long story short, that Vietnamese family came to Christ. And now since they don't speak Chin, they go to a, an English church. That's what it means. All right, now, let me ask you this. Are you showing off your worth? Are you showing to other people, hey, this is the love that humans cannot have on their own, but it's a love that's coming from God. This is a joy that the world cannot give, but only who can give? Someone that is not from this world. And that's something that we need, right? So, for example, you hang out with your friends, um, they're doing something bad, and you say, no, I can't do that. That is you showing off your, your worth. 
You're so tempted to cheat on that test. But then you choose not to. You pray, Lord, okay, since I'm not going to cheat, you know, uh, just make sure I get an A at least, or a C at least. So you're not cheating, but you, you think you're going to get a C, but you didn't study, so you got like an F. <laughs> Whatever it is, when you're obeying God, when you're showing off your worth, other people will notice. Other people will notice. And then when they ask you, where is that love coming from? Where is that obedience coming from? Where is that joy coming from? Then you tell them it's coming from heaven. Are you guys got that? So now... In chapter 4, chapter 5, and chapter 6, uh, how do you show off your worth? Um, in chapter 4, we see that you show off your worth by loving your everlasting family. All right, what do I mean by everlasting family? I right, repeat after me. My blood relatives are my temporal family. Okay, so your blood relatives are your temporal meaning. You will no longer be blood relatives in heaven. So who are your everlasting family? Every Christian. All right, how are we going to relate in heaven? We're all going to be what? Brothers and sisters. So that Chinese guy that you've never met before, he is your bro. All right. Japanese lady that you have never ever seen before, she is your, your sister. And so now you got to show off your worth by loving, even though they're not your relative. You got to love them like they're your own because they are your everlasting family. So now the people that you go to church with, if they are in Christ, they are your what? Everlasting family. And that should be even deeper than your temporal family. All right. Look at the person on your left and right. Tell them, you are my everlasting family. I love you so much. How do you say, I love you so much in Zopay? All right. Tell each other that. And then, in chapter 5, now Paul is saying, since you've been bought by the blood of Christ, you've got to show off your worth. Now, not to your everlasting family. Now, you show off your worth to your earthly family. To your mom, to your dad, to your brother, to your sister, to your son, and to your daughter. And that's what we'll be looking at, all right? All right, let me just, let's just look at, this, uh, it's a long. All right, let's look at chapter four summary. Uh, let's read the first bullet point, please. One, two, three, go. In Christ, we are called to show unity in the body of Christ with love, mercy, and patience. All right, let's read the second one. We are called to put off our old and to put on our new self. All right, the Bible says the very moment you come to Christ, your old self is gone and you are now a new person. You have a new identity. All right, grade fifth. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. What was your old identity before Christ? You are what to God? No, you are God's what? Come on, fifth grade, you are God's what? No, that's, that's after Christ. Before Christ, you are God's what? Elali? What is it? What is it, buddy? You're always on the meme, man. I always see you on the meme. Why are you always on the meme? Always, you're always sleepy? All right, you're God's what? Enemy. Enemy, all right. So your identity before Christ is your God's enemy. Your identity after Christ, you're no longer his enemy, but his child. So you should no longer be living and dwelling in sin, but you should be putting on your new self. All right, so now let's look at how you show off your worth. Okay, Zaytinda, kan man hikan lang terlai, tuwi so in sukur karkong asidak rilosa, kan merang hot yung kawin shimri kolay mo. 
Let's read the first bullet point, point please. One, two, three, go. All right, in order to show off your new worth, you got to be imitating Christ. You got to love the way He loved. You got to speak the way He speak. You got to obey the way He obeys, right? But we can't do that perfectly. That's why we got to be more and more and more and more like Christ every single day. Number two, we got to walk in what? Walk in love. There is no room for hatred for each other. The only thing that we should ever hate as Christians is sin. Not sinners, not our brothers, not our sisters. There is no room for hate. Why? Jesus said, if you hate, you are committing murder in the heart. All right, there's no room for hate. Number three, let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. Pure living, meaning you should keep your body pure. Have a heart that is pure, right? Number four, this is for a lot of you. Let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. All right. Foolish includes making fun of someone to keep them really down, right? The way they look, uh, their weight, their, you know, other things that will keep them down. And cursing, oh, that's something that you guys got to work on. Man, if I had a holy soap, I'll be putting all over your mouth, some of you. Um, <clears throat> and also, I told the older kids, and let me tell you guys, uh, oh my, G-O-D is also a bad word, right? Because you can't say God's name in vain. You can never ever say God's name in vain. Uh, why? Think about this. Where's Lian Lian? Lian Lian, what's your dad's name? Van Chiu Tang. All right, what if I smack Lian Lian in the face, right? Boom! And he goes, oh my, Van Jiu Tang. <laughs> what would his dad do to him? Smack him on the, other, on the other side, right? All right, just like how you don't say your earthly father's name in vain, you never say your heavenly father's name in vain. All right, let's read the fifth one. One, two, three, go. Oh, this is something that we got to work on, guys. If you see a friend who is committing sin, if you really love them, you're going to expose their sin to them. If it's a sin that is really harming them, if it's harming them, uh, their body, if it's harming their spiritual, uh, spiritual life, you got to expose to them. All right, number six, let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. All right, so how do you make a decision? You got... Choice A, choice B, choice C. What should you decide, right? You got soccer, you got church, you got hang out with friends. Of course, that's easy. You go to a place where you're really pleasing God. So you got to pray over some of the decisions you guys have to make in the future. For example, a lot of you might uh, want to be a nurse. But if God has something else for you, you got to really place, pray so that you will know what God has plan for you because you got to be deciding on things that pleases the God the most number seven let's read that out loud one two three go ah oh, better not be wasting your time don't waste your time all right what is wasting time this is wasting time you touch your phone till 4 a.m. in the morning and you don't wake up till 2 p.m. you are wasting your time all right, you're wasting your time. So don't waste your time. Invest your time, not just for your temporal future. Invest your time for your eternal future. All right, number eight. Let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. Ah, uh, do not get drunk. All right, what else is included? Do not get high, right? Anything that is in control of your discernment, your brain, that's something that we have to avoid and last but not least, let's read the last one. One, two, three, go. All right. Repeat after me. A, a spirit-filled Christian is a singing Christian. All right. So when we sing to God, we're not showing off how good our voice is because some of y'all voices, oh my goodness, you're going to make a donkey cry. But the reason why we are singing is to show that we love God. All right, what does praising mean? Praise is basically you are confessing how good God is. 
Are only us Christians, we have this system in place where God has placed、uh, musical worship in our everyday life so that He can get the glory.、Um, and when you praise, you're confessing what? How good God is. So now, hey, listen to me, listen to me. If you don't feel like praising, you're indirectly saying, Lord, you're not good enough. Because when we praise, God commands us to praise. Because God wants you to act, confess how good He is to you. But when you don't want to sing, when we're singing, you're talking to each other. When you think you're too cool to sing, you know what you're saying? You're saying, God, you're not good for me. I don't see any of your goodness. All right, sing. Okay, sing as loud as you can. Sing with your whole heart. Why? Because that is how good God is. All right, tell each other if God is good to you, sing your hearts out. Uh huh. All right, let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. All right. So when I'm telling you to do all these things, I am not telling you these things so that you can receive salvation. Right? Salvation is through faith. But after you are saved, God saved you not only to get you into heaven. But for you to live the heavenly life here on earth. All right, the key to Christian living. I'm not going to say this any longer. Now let's look at family. Okay, in Sun Kurkar, kung kaso tin halamo. You don't have to write this down.、Uh, I'm just going to read it for you guys. All right. All right. Here we see a picture that God has painted for us in the order and in the mission and in the meaning of family. And marriage. All right, I'm gonna read it. Be quiet, guys.、It、says here, wives are submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives submit to your husband as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. His body and his, is himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, also wives submit and everything to their husbands. Husbands. Love your wives as Christ loved the church, and gave Himself up for her, that He might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water, with the word, so that He might present the ch-、uh, the church to Himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or in any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. All right. I'm not gonna read that anymore. Let's look at what a godly family is. Let's look at the order of godly family. Now, listen here, guys. This is something that the world will not teach you. This is something that、uh, social media will totally be against. Because why? They're not grounded in the Word of God. You and I must be grounded in the Word of God. All right. If you say it's right, but the Word of God says it's wrong, it's your job to change your mind so you can align. Your thinking, your opinion, your doctrines with the Word of God. If you leave the Word of God, let me tell you right now, it's basically saying you're leaving God behind because God stand stands by His Word. I'll give you an example. So me, when I was your age, I really st-、uh, stood by this saying that God only looks at the heart. So hey, hey Sir David. I, and all of your older teachers and youth, they will know. When I was your age, I had a hair this long, very long. Why? Because I was a musician, right? I wanted to rock out with my long hair, but the problem was I was playing keyboard. Joe was <laughs>、yeah. <laughs> so funny, right? I was playing keyboard, and so my mom would always say, "Gafa, cut your hair." It, it, it's you know. The older generation, when they see you, although you're praising God with your heart,、uh, your hair is blocking them from getting closer to God through your worship, and I hated that. I was like, "Nope, Mom, why are they looking at me? They should be looking at God." But then, when I read the Word of God, in First Corinthians chapter eight, it says this: If what you eat make other Christians stumble, then stop eating that. So now, my job as a Christian. It's not to allow other people to stumble by the way I eat, the way I talk, the way I dress. 
And right when I heard that word of God, the Holy Spirit worked in my heart, shaved my hair off. Like I, I legit shaved it off. I was bald. And I, I looked like an old guy. I looked like a punky. You know what a punky is? A monk? So I'm like, okay, man, let me get it into, you know, uh, one or two inch. What am I trying to say? Even if the world is against it, even if it may seem like, you know, you are uh, weird, even if it se- make you seem like you're an outcast, repeat after me, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Okay, so our foundation, what we're standing on, is not other people's opinion. It's not the trend that can change up and down, right? But we're standing on something that will never change, and that's what? The Word of God. So now I'm going to show you guys how the Word of God paints family. All right, the head of the family, the Bible says, should always be Christ. And then after that is the husband. The husband should be leading the wife and the children in a godly family. I used to hate this. Why? Because um, I was a a big advocate for feminism, right? Or equality. Uh, We got to lift up the girls. Hey, I still feel that way. But if my agenda is going against the word of God, then I say I back up on my agenda and I let the word of God come into my life. And what does the word of God say? The word of God says, in a family, the head is the husband. Ladies, please understand that, right? And let me show you guys what that means. All right, repeat after me. It does not mean the husband is more valuable. All right, so in value, it doesn't mean the husband is higher. In value, we are all the same. No more male, no more female in salvation, in our value. However, what is different is our roles, our responsibility. And God has appointed leadership responsibility to who? The the husband. And so now, guys, guys. If God has placed a great responsibility for you in the future, man, I don't think you can be leading your family playing video games all day and all night. Right? You got to mature. You got to train yourself so you will eventually be able to lead the wife and the kids. And when I say lead, I'm not saying being a boss. Ladies, it doesn't mean you are servants. It doesn't mean you are slaves. But however, it does mean that the husband just has that leadership role. It doesn't mean the husband will do anything he wants um, and disregard any of your opinion if you are a wife. However, at the end, the husband has a leadership role. And as leaders, they have more responsibility. All right. Why are Chin families so broken? Because our top leader, the husband, the father... He is not a spirit-filled Christian. And I know, because a lot of you guys would come to me and share with me how your dad drinks alcohol day and night. How your dad is abusive, right? How your dad is the one who needs to be invited to go to church. How your dad is the one who is just so in love with money, he doesn't care what happens. I, you guys share that with me. And that's the reason why we're so broken. And now our generation, my generation, and your generation, we got to change that. And we need godly men to lead a godly family. And as godly men, the Bible says, husband, love your wives. All right, we'll keep going. Um, Let's look at this. Why are families so broken? Because there are so many broken marriages. There cannot be this much broken marriages in a godly family. The reason why we see a bunch of kids uh, who are headed straight to prison is because of a broken family. And why are there broken families? Because of broken marriages. U.S. 
kan ma zoom tu long slow uh, zoom no tu long slow win kan ma zoom tu zong a uh, tu research and to e to research and answer me te kan van zo ti to na lai mo all right let's read the first bullet point let's look at the us divorce rates all right one two three go Point nine, many experts feel that this is a much more accurate measure of a true divorce rate than the crude rate. Now, see the second one. The divorce rate per 1,000 married women is nearly double that of 1960, but down from the all-time high of 22.6 in the early 1980s. All right, third one. Almost 50% of all marriages in the United States will end in a divorce or separation. All right. He can study and show me today. See this year, son. USE ITU me vial te ke zakat a som nga a cheo zo ni kat kat a an iten te lai te me he study and to me to say. Let's read the fourth one. One, two, three, go. Estimate that 41% of all first marriages end in a divorce. I chi um me and we cut knock cheat um me ke zakata som li le pakat hizo and it ten divorce and to so let's read the second one. And we ne knock no pi and ngay mo pasal and ngay tiga zakata som ru som ru ke and it ten tise. All right, let's read the last one. And we tum nak nupi and ngay pasal and ngay at zakat a som street le patum hi and it ten. Nulepa ule na on ha in sum krukar adam kok nak din sa son. Nuleva adam ahawe. Then nuleva itena hin son say tik mana adam kauti lo ding mi in sum krukar. Kan ser di mi hinan sinak fak bin sim kudu. India na boy pa niya kasang fak COVID lewa in zan hi ding mang kapan. Nikata in nga an hakapane in zay mazek zong kavan in pan no na. Na chuu chung in chun nan ma in chun kurkar pumpak siyo nan pumpak in chun kurkar kong ka chimdu mi salaw. Nan zapi zaran in kavan chimdu mi siye. An ti suwa siya chun nan ma kong tenka ka chimdu mi salaw te kavan chim kudu. An fa le suwal nak le in alwan dok mi ken kavalin ha. Ta chun na ka kan indiya na kan tongpang nan tey di. Gaya ay tell me tapo ang falis ng zong kafakal ay tell lo mi ng zong kafakal tuwi hoy sa inakin aswal do mi falihi ang nula ang pa kasi unha tika ang iten asilo mo tinlong sim simin hin ang iten sang mi kense makay kavan mo ko ay mi siya a nula pa sa itlog nanda ang andam mi nuva raksia herhi na sinafak pin van sim kado all right, let's read the first bullet point. One, two, three, go. Second, say tumpo a U.S. a hin nuva pakat an iten tise. Let's count to 13. Ready? One, two, three, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, there goes one divorce. No, don't clap. It's not something you should be clapping for. No, no, stop clapping, stop clapping. It's sad, right? Don't clap for a divorce. Clap for a happy, merry life, all right? All right, why am I, why am I giving you all these stats? Because look, in the future, guys, the Bible does say you should all multiply. If God did not call you to be single forever, the Bible commands you to get married. And not only get married, but to multiply, to fill the land. Meaning, have lots of babies. Yeah, have lots of babies. As many as you can. Sir David, how many babies are you planning on having? Ten! Oh <laughs> what about Sir Levi? How many babies? Five! Woo! Anyone more than 10? All right, how much? What, 10 and a half? What? He said 10 and a half. Can you have 10 and a half babies? All right. So we're called to multiply, and in the future, we're called to have healthy, 
um, family, marriage, and in order for us to have a healthy family for our next generation's sake, there must be a healthy marriage. And this cannot be for us. And so now if we know this, then we should not pick or choose wrong, but also us. We got to train ourselves so that we could eventually be godly husbands and godly wife. All right, now let's look at what marriage means, okay? Because in the future, that's what you're all going to uh, uh, experience. So let's read the first bullet point, please. One, two, three, go. Public covenant between a man and a woman in the presence of God. Second one. All right, marriage is designed by God. And God has designed it in a way that it should only be between a man and a woman. Hey, let me tell you right now, the Bible forbids. The Bible does not count a man and a man covenant as a marriage. That is not marriage. That is defying God's design in the institution of marriage. Chidum na kantimitso nu le pa kar laklong asiye. Bible ni hin pa le pa chidum na nu le nu chidum na he ale kan lo bak mis. And no, guys, love is not love. Okay, love is not love. All right, so if if we come with with the reasoning, hey, love is love. You know, who are you to judge me? Uh, we love each other, even if it's same sex. And listen, I don't hate them. I love. I love every LGBTQ community. Uh, I have even, I have even mentored two gay guys. Yeah, two gay guys. They they had boyfriends. Um, I I mentored five, but three I failed. Two I succeeded. They both broke up with their boyfriends, and one uh, it, it was about a year and a half ago. Lives in a different country, and he called me and said, "Hey, s i s i l o I think I have a crush on this girl." And I'm like, all right, let's let's try to get her. I prayed for him, I prayed for him, and he made his move. Unfortunately, we failed. <laughs> Unfortunately, we failed. But hey, listen, that's that's what we should do as Christians, right? We should not be hating them, sinners, because we're all sinners. But we should, however, not agree. And make sure they know that this is against our belief, our moral, and this is something that cannot be. But we can introduce them to someone or something that can give them a change and a new life. And that is Jesus. That's what Jesus did to them, for them. All right, now a man and a man is not marriage. Woman, woman is not marriage, and love is not love. Why, if love is love, if we go outside the boundaries that God has created? Um, what is stopping a 50-year-old man f- saying he fa- he's falling in love with an eight-year-old girl? All right? So, love is not what? Love is not love. There are what? Boundaries, right? And who has given us the boundary? God. And God said, love is between only a man and a woman. All right? God created Eve for Adam, not Steve, right? Okay. Let's read the next one. What is the mission for marriage? Let's read that out loud. The first one. One, two, three, go. All right. That's it. That's good. That's good. Kahin Bible niya kung saan piak mito nuleva nuleva kung saan piak so kaysa kalaklok ngay ron saan piak ngay ron Bible saan piak niya tayo ng chim thaning lo nuleva ipetlik nakhe zamfat ay kanhula ibang gusto pa nulo. Minung le minung petli nak a, abe pibig mi petli nak so, nule vai petli nak se. Okay, ang Bible ang sabi zero nga nule vai petli nak so kahin efisa ang panga kan zok tika kri le kri fabu kri le zoom tu kani petli ning tehin atasun kri le kri fabu so pumkat kan si zaymani ten kauti lo mi petli nak asita a. Nuleva pete na sa suventuk asio kasiye, tuca sun vale itong minong viel tila ka, pa ni nandot big ni misun nand vale ang silo ina nupi si oksiye, suventuk tiam tiam ni nupi la song ni nandot big misun nand ma nand nu nand unaw nand vale silo win na pasal ka si timihe nand sinafak pinbatim gudo. Alright, the the most important 
human to human relationship is marriage, okay? So a husband, the person that he should love the most is not his friends, not his children, but his wife, and vice versa, right? And that's something us Shin community is lacking. Raise your hand if you have a romantic dad. If your dad is very romantic and sweet to your mom. Joel, you have a romantic dad? All right, we got, we, got a, we got a couple. Raise your hand if your dad is not romantic. He's far from it. Oh, okay, no more talking. Uh, fifth grade and sixth grade, you guys are talking too much. Tomorrow, I'm going to take away your free time and give it to seventh and eighth. All right, no more talking. Okay, no more talking. Okay, no more talking. Whoever talks, they're going to learn. Whoever don't talk, they have free time. Anyways. Who's talking? Who's talking? All right, one person might ruin it. Okay. Okay. Romance Look at your wife. Okay, no talk, guys, since they can't hear me. Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, na nuleva ipete na Bible na gan sumpia krimi sa to Ephesians ang pangatunga. Nuleva idot ding asy pagkat le pagkat ani dot na ay tin miso. Alright, look at this, guys. There are two pictures. One is a Christian boy, and the other one is what? A godly man. Alright. All the guys, stand up. All the guys, stand up. All the guys, stand up. Hurry up. Without talking, without talking. If you don't have a wife, you stand up. Shh. Don't talk, don't talk. All right, all the guys, let's treat that. One, two, three, go. All right, tell each other, be a godly man, not a Christian boy. <laughs> all right, all the ladies stand up, all the ladies stand up. All right, let's read that out loud. One, two, three, go. <laughs> All right, tell each other, tell each other. So that means, look, ladies, that means the guy that has a crush on you, the guy that is making his move on you, right? Uh, make sure you're keeping an eye on him in church. If he's the one playing on his phone, if he's sleeping during Siasilo's teaching, know that he's just a Christian boy. And if he asks you out, you say, thank you, next. All right, thank you, next. I don't want that, right? Instead, you're looking for a godly man. And why? 
Why must we be looking for a godly man? And why must us men be godly men? Because look, the leader of the household is the guy. And if the guy is not godly, hey, let me tell you right now, your family will go to the direction of brokenness, all right? All right I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be blunt with you guys, okay? Now look up here, look up here, look up here. Don't talk. To all the gentlemen, hey, you guys got to pick it up. Okay, all the guys, you got to pick it up because look, uh, I'm just looking at your church and in Limey in general, the ladies are, they're, they're killing us in everything. In education, in, uh, you know, it's being a better child to their parents. In godliness, they're just destroying us. Um, if you look, if you look at Sunday school, right? And they give out an award. You know who, who, who mostly get the prizes? The girls. Why? Because you guys, all you want to do is play video games all day and all night. No, that's not good, all right? So we got to what? Step it up. Okay, we got to step it up. All right. If, a, if I had to choose, okay, there's a guy and a girl. They come up to me, say, Silo, uh, who, I, who, who should I be looking for? And I would always get asked that. Who should I be looking for? I have two guys that, that are uh, approaching me. Uh, which one should I choose? I would say, who's godlier? Don't look at the look. Don't look at the net worth. Who is godlier? Because he's the one who's going to give you joy in your life. It's more important for a lady to find a godly man than a man to find a godly woman. Why? Because look, ladies, you guys have a soft heart, and which is good because you, it's so easy for you guys to change for the better. So easy. And that's what's so good about you ladies. That's why uh, you guys are so useful in the ministry, right? Look, the people giving us announcement right now are two ladies. <laughs> Anyways, um, guys, they're so hard-headed. Amen? All right, guys, we got to admit that, right? We're very hard-headed. Um, unless, unless we face, re you know, great hardship, it's so hard for us to change. That's the reason why we should be looking for a godly man rather than a Christian boy, and for the guys, we should be godly men rather than Christian boy. All right. So in sum kurkar a nulava pete na abe pizia ka nulava ni nan tei nan nun naka nan fale char shim shima nan vun lang ter ding mi he abe pi tuk mi chuse zero nga da an shim ni nga chuse zero zero ban tuk mi nung keda. Anu anu pi or apa sal he ani ten aso lmo faktok in boy nak atsuak ni siya chun ka nu i ka pa i anu le an pa ani dot naka arak fellow tika nu le pa dot naka fellow tika fa le ni kan nu pi dot dan an tiam ti lo pasal upad dan an tiam ti lo tika an ma lila ni nu le pa ni an rak pek lo le an rak musak na lo ruang a an rak zoon i ang andam lo mi เปตินักกันไงจุซาซงกันปาลินหาฟากปินทาซังเปกันตุมินหาซอนั่นฟาปาลิซาอาไซตินดานุปีฮีอันดอดไลติมีเฮนั่นหูรกาลงสโลเว
And one of his greatest commandment for children is to obey and honor who? Parents. So now, before you sing worship song, before you pray in front of others, before you go to Sunday school, you got to show off your worth to your family, to your parents. And as children, we must be obeying, honoring their parents. At what age are you no longer a child? 18, 17, Joel? 16, okay. Oh, yeah, the, the eighth grade got it right. Repeat after me. I will always be a child until I get married. All right, so that means even if you're 19 and you're still single, you're still under whose authority? Parents. All right, not just you guys. Even me, Shia Levi, Shia Tsungro, Shia David, we are under our parents' authority. All right, me, when I preach, uh, I, I just like to preach with just regular shirt, wear a hat, jeans. But my mom hates that. So my mom says, Kafa, when you're preaching, especially in front of parents, make sure you're at least wearing, you know, uh, church pants and church clothes. Make sure you don't wear anything ripped. Make sure you're wearing at least something formal, especially on Sundays, you better be with your suit and your, uh, your, suit and your dress shirt. Dress pants. Hey, listen, guys. Uh, I am probably more godlier than my parents. All right? I'm a preacher. I, know, I probably know more about the Bible than my parents. But since they have authority over my life, because I'm not married, I don't have my own family yet, my job is to say, yes, mommy, I will dress the way you want. All right? So even us preachers, we are still under our parents' authority and we're following them. So now you, your job to give honor and glory to God, the first thing you should ever do is obey and honor your parents. The way you honor them, respect them, you love them, you forgive them, you support them, you pray them. And the last one, don't be, let's read that out loud. Yeah, don't be embarrassed of them, right? Right? And listen, man, some of your parents, what they went through, what they went through is so much. They work 12 hours a day, your fathers, right? They work in a place where they don't understand 95% of the language spoken. They would get picked on. They would get bullied. Uh, the Americans, they take advantage of them because they know they lack, uh, the, they lack speaking English, so they're taking advantage of them. They're doing half the work they're doing. They're putting all this effort in for you. And then when they get home, if you're bringing more burden toward them, that's not good. You should lift burden off them, right? So when your parents get home, give them a massage. Go wash their feet, right? Do all these things so that you can show your honor and your obedience for them. Why? The Bible says this. If you honor, obey your parents, that is the key to success. Raise your hand if you want to be successful. And the key is honoring and obeying who? Parents. So now what I want you guys to do, right, is rate yourself. I want you to rate yourself 1 to 10, how good of a child you are. Show me with your fingers. Show me. I see some 8. I see it. No, you can't be a 10. I see some 9, 8. No, you can't be a 10. 10 is impossible. No, there's no 6. Joa, what are you? Four and a half, okay. One, all right. So now we got to be better, right? Got to be better. All right, and then the Bible gives parents a responsibility. It's in the Bible, ni in Sunkur Kara. Nu le va pit le ning akan chon piak. Nu le pa le fa le pit le ning chon piak e. Fa le rian chon nu le pa no ngay upat asi. Nu le pa rian chon fa le te. ครีมมุยซัมอันโลชินชิงโคนักดิงจ่าอีจอนเปียกนาเลชีชวยนาเฮเซกันดูเลกะปาตินทาซองเปกันดูนาลันฟาเลเฮวเลเลอินโบชัน
so atling lo bak mi na si ti mi he na si na fak pin sim kudo. Zero nga nule pa chay abepi big mi cho kan fale patiyan andu patiyan le car and landing he abepi big mi se. Let's say patiyan le car and land ko nakding sa a nule pa sin in patum te van in sa tak kan du min ha um. Okay. Apakat nak zang fan teng kan hule van kazuta manu kan fale he Saan tampi mantiding. Kanule pa na faak pin tazang van pek kandu min ha cho. Nan fale patiyan le kar an saan ko na din sa a. An ma he saan tampi rakmang tiyo. Saan nan ngay mi po po he. Mi ting nan kalaw rin nan truan law. Siyang in an kay law. Rin dang her, rin her dang nan ngay law po a cho. In sung kurkar in at say in. Ang nga chit leo din saan rak mong ti zong zalo itlay chan na kde ki umse so it saan nan man ti na ka tlatsam na ke patiyan biya irua na ke patiyan ay karlan na kding sa i bom tu ta tatak si ti mi van shim kudu nan fale hi an mak kan ti long in isang kan hala se nan ma bok he cha an man ti ko na kding sa ti in an ma zong hi rak shway shim shim na ti mi he nan si na fa pin ta zang pek andu na Discipleship and the mito create nuzul to serve as ye create nuzul to serve laka abepi big mito and ma concerning mi minung pocha and sina umve and ma he san manti and ma he eighty and ma he eighty and ma he ten lenti he abepi tuk mi si ti mi nang sina fa pin van sim kudo apan hi naka kan hule van kuzuta mano kan fa le sa a create mui sam An kan fale krip mui sam, sorry, kan fale krip mui sam. An lo ko nak nga, son o klak nun, kan husak na hao. Kan fale patiyan le kar hang na se ti kan du asya chun kan ma shim shim hi, patiyan le ya kar hang mi kan siya her ti mi he. Nan si na fa, pin van shim kudu. Nan fa le ni hin zay da tlatsam nun a si ti hin nan nun naka mu na se. Nan fa le ni hin zay da patiyan bau chan a si ti nan nun naka mu na se. Nan fa le ni hin tiang kim nun hin zay da a si ti mi he. Nan nun naka mu shim shim na se ti mi nan si na fa pin shim kudu. Chul la wa chun zay da alo ti siya chun. Joel, come here. Put your phone down. Come here. Help me. Now put your, give your phone to your sister. Alright, come on, you're gonna, no, you're gonna help me, come on. Alright, come here. Joel here. Without praise and worship, can suck your alarm back, me say. I talk back, I lay cheat. Okay, Nule Pani, Atulio, I say in Indiana. Indiana, he patian le carl han naka, can fare se her big me can sell it, yakara, stay dang nakman in. Can he tum be song sakin mo? Eh, can se her dan to he can he put rot yakara me so? Hit the hint, Nule Patam, piso my hen and say. Siya sa loob siya pinag umlaiti ng tayo, siya sa loob siya umlaiti ng tayo, ng fakalpi, ng fatlat na. At siya ka nula pa siya, hika munti na ni pumi kay loom tatak. At yung parking lot ka van lutliyo akan. Hika muna pum chong loo anfali loo at hai atin tan mi nula pa tampian umi ka. Ka ngay siya nga nga e. Zayda alaw di siya siya kafa ka ng so, patiyan liya kar vatang mu, tikin kan vatak sa soo mi kya loo. Kasi ang abak lang mi siya. Kaya siya, kapon ka dek ko lai, nang tuyo sa phone dek lak mo. Kaya siya tang ka kakol ko lai, nang tuyo tlarawin kat mo. Kaya siya kain ni kamhom ko lai, nang siya say ngay ngay tiyang himnon sa papat lak mo, tiin kan. Kan ma ka, kan kalaw nak lam, ikal ter ka ni tip mi he, shok rol bak se. Shok rol bak se, a omin zong kan omin kaul hay lai lau. Chu cha chun kan rin chun si da si, di siya chun, kakafa, nang tlarawin na ka chin chin ko nak ting sa kan hura ka zul. Tarawin kan kati lai mo, patiyan du hizit asik kan sompiak lai mo tin. Nang maabak ni hindi na doi, tlatsam nakliya na shuay, pum nakliya na shuay, suwal na ato asin hit, fuck na rin. Nabando ni. Abepi, tuk mi si, di mi manchim kudu. Okay, Joel, it's a good man piyak now. Say, thank you, Joel. Okay, adong nakbika mahi na sina vansak kadu eh. Nan fale patiyan le kar an san ko nak ding sa asun kan hule van gazo ta mun ulo. Zay bentuk hoi kom. An ngay. Zaw lo. Son piyak na. 
Ampe pi ta ta khmi se. An kom mi mi nong hoi bakin kan fale kar an thang ko. Ke kan kan au pa pakhat te he tang ruk tang sri asia ken cha a thiam bak ama te bakin khat sam nun zong ange nan ro lo pin tang rit baka asia he vok te avani let i nu le pa chim ngai lon um belo mi bia ka khat man alet lo mi kha du zo vai ka khat man bia an song kho ti an chon pia kho ti lo e kala tu bia kin song kom hu ti lo san ne school pom ti song phone long adek anu le baka na jia ma tin nan fa u me te kan thei velo an te le a hoi le po a kom mi kha ro lo bin ni khat a ani an um ti ning le an be chia an chim ning te na kha kha pa sual na i o ma rong pe si ko chu ti mi he ka van mu kho chan hoi kom tha an ngai kho na ding sa tha chon pek na o an ma hi hoi kom tha an si kho na ding sa tha chon pek na o hoi kom tha an ngai kho na ding sa tha chon pek long so chon pek shim shim na o na chu na ka kanu chupa he chon ka ka ko an ni na ka ka lai ti e e chupa chu a cha zo chu no tlak a si lem lo se ka fa ka du la kan ma sin um ko lo he a ve lo a phak na kan kal ti lai ti tu in hen an ko mi minung he tha ten rak i ra ring u ti mi he fa pe ven chon pia kan du na hoi kom thalo tam pi ngai nak cha chun ma te long um han he a tha do ti mi he na sin a fa pe ven chim ka du e thai jinga nan fa le chon chu chu tam pi hoi kom tha lo kal tak her zia krak chon pia te na lai chute chunan sina van tan ta kan du min ha chu se let's read this out loud 1 2 3 go all right listen guys listen guys heaven is a place of love a place of where you can you know you just feel like home you can rest a healthy a god fearing a god centered a god glorifying family that's what heaven is all right and in order for us to have heaven at our home we as children have a responsibility and that is what to honor and obey and that's just honor obey but you also got to love your sibling like love him love her forgive him forgive her support him and support her zangfa nak te in kan hu le van ka zu ta man u lo pathian ne van chung kai ding cha long a kan khap lo van chung nun vole chunga lang ter ding in kham chi mi kan se so van chung nun vole lang ter ding kham chi mi kan se le chu so khoi ka da kan lang ter lai kan in chung khur khar kan lang ter lai pathian alai fanga a chi mi in chung khur khar nu le wa ai do mi in chung khur khar nu le pati za mi in chung khur khar fa le pathian le ka arlan pi mi in chung khur khar kan ti mi he in chung khar vandram kan ti mi chu sako le chu sok kan ngi chiao kho na ting cha an sei thuk in da in chung khur khar a be pi ti kan i fian e a tu bak in pathian le ka kan hlan kho na ting cha a chol chang mi nu le pa a chol chang mi fa le kan si kho na ha boi pa ti son ang pe pe ko sa sile okay thank you uh what we're going to do is this uh, i want all of the only the campers okay all of the campers are uh, you going to do quietly all right don't talk if i hear any talking i'm going to take away your free time tomorrow so no talking you're going to do this without talking quietly what you guys are going to do is going to get up all right don't do it yet and you guys are all going to get down here on your knees okay go quietly if i hear talking i take away free time All right, even uh, even the helpers please the helpers ke nu le pa via te dir na ose all right get down on your knees get down on your knees i think i hear eighth grade talking All right, listen here guys. Um we we have many choices in this world, right? But one thing that we don't have a choice of is who our family is, okay? We cannot choose who our mom's going to be, father's going to be. Oh, actually even those who are not campers, you can come up. All the kids come up. Sorry. I don't want to leave anyone out. All the kids come up. 
Uh, let's do this. All of the fifth grader, quietly, you guys are all going to come on the pulpit. Go. Quietly, quietly. All right, get down on your knees. All right, come on, come on, everyone. Come this way, guys. Come this way right here. There's many rooms here. Yeah, go up, go up. Although you're not fifth grade. All right, no talking. Okay. Nula pa vial, tini kan, kan fale he. Ting pa akun mi vial, tete lasam na kan ngay piyak na le he. Anan fale ni, patiyan dot na ki ante, patiyan du ningin anun, nula pa cha, nula pa cha, zot sun ok tlak in anung mi an si, ay do mi uli nao an si, an fale nun na klam tlwa na, suwal na ka atlao mi salawin. Patihan betak sunga adir mi an si na ting sakan. Tlakan sa piyak na. Van kan naik da uko lo, nula pa sunga ka. Van kan naik da uko lo. Kahin siya la te katso. At sung pulpit sung tena kaya to ulo. Kan falo hi. An lo sung te kutso ni tlakan sa piyak komen halay lo. Na ba ting kan kul di halay hi. Sun tla sam nak te kan ngayin halay mo. Okay. Let's all raise our hand to the sky. We're going to scream out hallelujah seven times. And then we're, you're going to pray for yourself, okay? So that you can be an obedient child for your parents. You're going to pray for your dad. If your dad is an alcoholic, that he would change. You're going to pray for your mom. You're going to pray for your siblings. Yeah, and I'm going to pray for Joel. <laughs> all right. Okay, you're going to pray for everyone in your family. Uh, and then uh, we'll sing worship, okay? So can you like in Hallelujah voice right now? Hallelujah! One, two, three, go! Hallelujah! 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 ขัดสมหาวสีฮาเลลูยาบอยปาคันฟาเลวิอาลเตอันนุนนักฮีนามัสนักอันชักบอยปาบอยปาฮัชชิตเลวเตอันนุนนักเตอชัมกุนฮั
and see nothing to attack us on Piakna. Oh, boy, pa, Capetian, and Zoom Naki, and if Yane, and Zoom Nasunga, dear me, and see Nang ma na ti lo win vo le itsunga hen bo chanding o umlo zia an hal ko na ni sa a ta kasam piak na boy pa kapatian kan fale an tlao na halo din sa atsun karawi na kat mi ang andam mi anung mi in sung kurkar kan her so in sung kurkar kan sar ko na ha nula pa ni an tuan vo an in hal ve yi nang ma bo chan in nula pa ni fale hen nang ma du an in a ti shuai ko mi a chi shroi mi, a chon piak mi, a chim shint mi, nun nakin a musak mi, an si nakin cha zong a tha ka chon piak na. Oh, boy pa, kan pa chien, minung, pastor in si se, thong cha chim tu in si se, nul pa zong in si se, zay tluk in kan is zom len ko zong a, boy pa, mi nun tleng tu tatak chun nang mak long long hini se. Chu sa chun na tharao in, boy pa, a thar in, korwa har na tilti ko na khe rakan musak ko lo, kan fale ni hin lung ten na ta ta nun na thar ta tak an cho di kho na ni cha tha ka chon piak na o boy pa ka machian usa kan phan ram tha kan phan hika chole wa sui le ngun a khat na kan phan siman se lo boy pa se tuk in kan fale rum ko man se se tuk in kan fale min thang ko na man se lo an thara nun na an sunga chon pak pa long long te si to two boy pam chen kan if young e, to two boy pa kama chen kan mali zong in, boy pa and tau na halo, and na and sung na halo di in kem na kan tua, suman se lo su kan tua mi na mani tona cholo zong pa polong as a lie, boy pa rakan zang fa ko, kan chimi bia, kan suck me ta, kan tua ser me via di he, kan fa le, tara nun na and mu na le, tara nun na a mu zong mini. And ten naka and man kona din sa a Nang mani sa chua naka mpe ko Boi pa Vole i chung thong le thong pang kan thay Vole i chung kan sining hi kan mu di Swal naki na kat mi vole ya kan um Saman salo kan ni zoom tu cho Vole ya um ko man u silo vole mi kan salo Echo vole mi kan silo naki Kan fale te shim shim ni aning hal i Echo at Tak in anun pi mi ansi ko na ha. Kan i chon piak mi vial te. Kan chim mi bia vial te. Te chiam ko na fim na rak pin halo. So lan du na lung chin rak pin halo. A tak in nun na alang ter ko na di sa. Na tarao chiang him in ton na rak pin ko na di sa fa kan nol. Kan i loom tuk sing shan. Ang andam mi in sum kukar kan pe. Nang ma an lom ter mi in sum kukar kan pe. Nang ma an ti sa mi in sum kukar kan pe. Nang ma pakat na ka ang siya min sung kukarakan pe. So kan siko na klay. Pumpak siyo kan tuan vo. At lit mi kan siwe i. So di sun nang ma bo chan in. Nang ma zo chi in. Ni fatin din pumpak in. In sung kukarakar lang mi kan siko na klay. Kan nun na kan sinin kan song fiel te na ma ko tiyan su kan chan. Kan ilom tuti siya min si su krimi nang bo chan tlan sa pang tiyan. Amen. All right. Hold on, hold on. Be quiet. We're all going to stand up. We're going to sing song. Okay? Stand up where you are. We're gonna sing a song. Fifth graders, stand here. I'll give you. All right, worship team, come on up. Worship team. Sa from Hikasan, halay sa ng tong tern halay mo. Let's go. 